but maybe the reason why I think my body shape is like that is because my sister's body shape really is like, va va boo. Like, whoa, I'm not like that. <laughs> back to my channel and as y'all have heard from like my four past consecutive videos I'm engaged which means I'm in the throes of wedding planning trying on wedding dresses and by trying on wedding dresses I mean this is the first time I'm trying on wedding dresses so in the process of even starting to try to look for dresses I of course was YouTubing affordable Amazon dress try-ons and a lot of those looked very bad <laughs> so also in the process of that search this company called JJ's house popped up and they were like similar price level in terms of affordability, but the JJ's house dresses looked like a lot more consistent quality. So I actually reached out to the brand and asked if they would be open to sending me some dresses to try, and they were. So I had a, like a small budget and I picked out a few very affordable wedding dresses. I got three and the cost of all three of them was under $450. So I have one that's around 225, one that's around 175, and one that was $34 in their sample sale. So I'll be trying all of those on today, showing you all the details, talking about how it compared to the website photos because that's what we're always curious about shopping online and just how the fit is and all those kinds of details. So I will be trying the three dresses on in order of like my favorite to my least favorite. And so my favorite will be first. I'll talk a lot about that. And then we'll just go backwards from there. So let's get into the try on. Here's dress number one. Of course, I will have all of these linked in my description box. And because it's the first thing I'm trying on, y'all know that this is my favorite. I am going to tell you firstly that I tried it on as a sweetheart neckline, but it actually does have like some princess Cinderella cap sleeves that are tulle. But I personally think it looks better tucked in. I will also untuck these in a little bit and show you what the sleeves look like, but it's just way easier to pull them out than it is to try stuff back in when um, it's already on. So this dress was $173, and if you want custom size with a custom bust, waist, hip, hollow to floor, extra space, and just all the things, it only cost an extra $20. So I actually did get this in custom size because $20 for like a tailored custom piece is nothing if I took a, a like a size 8 dress to the tailor to bring down the bust and um, maybe just a couple other things it would have easily been over a hundred dollars so I think a custom size is worth it it's a very like Grecian classic almost whimsical and very romantic kind of design which I liked this was like a real contender for me to be like the dress the dress you know so um we can look at the neckline and go down it has this satin um belt as well and then it's just clean all the way down and at the bottom there's this beautifully detailed high quality lace trim and if my legs look particularly long that's because i'm standing on a little stool under here <laughs> to, because i added a couple of extra inches to the length so I could either wear heels or I could wear a petticoat underneath it to help bring out some of the puff. So it has several different layers, the top tool with the lace. It has a couple other tool layers um, for some of that fluff and romantic feel. Then there's this satin layer and then another satin layer and then my little feet. So um, all of those layers, this dress was $172, $173. So super worth it. So here is the back of the dress. It has that lace trim that's very detailed, but it is a little, it looks like it'll be a little bit fragile all the way around. It's a nice chapel length train. And also awesome thing about this dress is the corset back. And the reason that's awesome is because it means that your size can fluctuate a little bit more around the wedding date. So, Say like your waist doesn't need to be exactly like 28 inches or something. I'll also put my exact measurements that I sent for the custom size dresses in the in the description box. I, if I remember correctly, but of course check the description box to see if this is correct because it's been like a month since I ordered these. I think I had a bust 35, waist 29 and a half. I honestly think I could have gone down to 29 for that. Uh, hips 41. Hollow to floor, 57. Height, 
I'm 5'5", five five, so what is that? 65. <laughs> and, um, and then I added two inches of extra length for heels or a petticoat. Speaking of petticoats, um, it looks like beautiful, splayed out and everything, but it takes work to get the trim to look that nice. So if I wore this dress, I would order like a very subtle petticoat to wear under it to kind of splay out like the backside of it more so it falls a little bit more gracefully. This dress was like an actual very, very real contender to be the dress for me, but um, uh, I'm undecided about it. And the reason why is because when I first ordered this dress a month ago, which by the way was before I was engaged, <laughs> I ordered this dress with the idea of like the simplest wedding ever, maybe even potential for a courthouse wedding, which is a uh, taboo for my family. but. You know, like that, like maybe a very casual gazebo wedding, maybe even a backyard wedding, something very simple. So I ordered a simple style for that. And I figured this could go from backyard or to actual venue very easily because it's that classic Grecian, very um, like whimsical, tasteful kind of dress. But I think that since then, I want something with a little bit more about it. And that's because I have booked a garden venue, like a beautiful garden venue. I'm very excited about it. And I'm thinking maybe I want some like viney or some kind of floral design on all of this before, or at least any part of this, before I get down to the uh, trim here, which is where the only detail on this dress is. I did mention that I was trying this on as a sweetheart, but it's not originally a sweetheart dress. So <laughs> let me just pull out these cap sleeves. I'll try them on and show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna squeeze my lip. Actually, let me pull out the other side before I try to do that. So let's pull out these sleeves. And with the sleeves, it really goes along with the like very romantic look that I was going after. Here it is with the off the shoulder sleeves. And honestly, I loved how this looked on the website and on the model but it's a little bit tricky with sleeves of any kind because you never know how like much room they're gonna have. You never know how like they're gonna look really <laughs> until you get it on your own body. One thing about these sleeves is it does inhibit my movement quite a lot and it's not like I dance a lot anyway, but <laughs> just in general, if I wanna reach for something, it's inhibited. And another thing, if you look closely at the top, the where the like tool sleeve starts is not symmetrical on <laughs> on both sides so on this side it kind of starts a little bit higher and more centrally whereas on this side it starts more out and lower and so just a little bit of asymmetry like that i know will drive me crazy so that's why my preference for this dress if it does become a, the dress is <laughs> to tuck it in and make it just a sweet little sweetheart neckline Side note, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but if you're worrying about, or not worrying about, if you're inquiring about my nails today, these are actually like handmade press on nails. And my close friend, Miss Jasmine Yin, she has her channel. I'll link it down in the description box. And she's kind of like the closest thing to a work wife that I have in terms of YouTube. Um, yeah, these are just super cute. I wanted to give her a shout out and link her Etsy, not her Etsy, she has her own website. And I will link her shop in the description box. Here is dress number two. And because it's number two, you know, it's a step down from that number one dress. There's this very specific reason for it though. So the online photos of this dress looked like the flowers looked so detailed. It looked like it was almost embroidered. Like the pink on the inside of the flower was embroidered and had a gradient out to the white petals. And I ordered the dress coat as pictured, like as the color pictured. So it's like an ivory skirt with um, ivory underlay and white flowers that were supposed to have a very like detailed and nice pink center. However, this is an occasion of like expectation versus reality because these flowers are not at all what I wanted them to be. Um, they look a little cheap and like a little craft store y. And um, that's because instead of having embroidered centers like the picture had me believe, I guess, it's, it just has these little like sequins and beading and stuff. And um, I think this is more disappointing to me just because that's not what I was expecting. 
And so let's just take a look at the top of this dress. It has a three quarter length sleeve. And um, if you pan up, you can see that it's an illusion neckline with lace all the way up to my collarbone. And then the sleeves that come down to a little bit past my elbow. The skirt, it has the lace detailing come down kind of staggeredly. So there's not a stark contrast between top half and bottom half in terms of sewing those pieces together. And then it has like one, how many layers of tulle? One, two, three layers of tulle, and then one, two, two layers of satin. So that's five total layers of material to give this kind of like soft ball gown, somewhere between a ball gown and an A-line shape. This dress is kind of uniform around. It doesn't have much of a train. Maybe it has like a tiny bit, <laughs> like the miniest train ever. So this is very nice for maybe like an outdoor venue, just walking around. I might even use this for a photo shoot, but it's not my wedding dress. And that's because of the issue with the flowers I was talking about. Now, this dress was $219. So still, given the price, it's impressive. However, if y'all watch me or know me at all on my channel, I don't care about what how good something is for the price. If it's good, it's good. If it's not good, it's not good. And um, I don't want the price to be a factor in something like a wedding dress in terms of good for the price, which seems a little bit ridiculous to me. Um, but one thing that I might actually do, like a little personal project, because the only reason I don't like this is because I think the appliques look like a little childish and cheap. But if you look at an applique, it's attached to beautiful lace underneath by these like tiny translucent, almost elastic bands. And pretty much all that's doing is attaching the center of each applique and the beading to that point. So if I went through and like just snipped and like snipped this off and did that for every single flower like even up here see it has this beautiful lace underneath and it's just this flower applique that's like stuck on top like that so i might go through and snip all of these off and i think that this would be a gorgeous lace like classy dress underneath that all i also need to show you the back of this dress so this is not a corset back. Here we have a zipper up to the waistline and then up from the waistline is buttons. And there's actually one button that's missing <laughs> in this back. But otherwise, if you look at the big picture of the back, it's a gorgeous back. If I snip off all of those flowers and reveal the open lace on the inside, I think it has a beautiful shape and the color is very nice. However, I think that my preference is towards a white dress and not an ivory dress, because firstly, I think that's like more traditional and it'll make my family happier and stuff. But secondly, because ivory, depending on how it's photographed, can look very like elegant and um, a little more modern, or it can look very not modern and old and like it's kind of been sitting in an attic for two, generations too long <laughs> and so that's why i think for me ivory is a little bit of a risky a risque color not risque risky color <laughs> otherwise the skirt is beautiful the top underneath the appliques are beautiful and so this was 219 dollars and depending on how this looked without all of this i still think that would be pretty much a steal i have a coupon code for 10 percent off of like a JJ's house purchase and the coupon code is Sally. I don't get any kickback from that or any compensation from that. Honestly, I might use that code for myself to get my next dress, <laughs> but it's also there for anyone who watches this video and is thinking they might want to try one of their dresses too. So let's do a little twirl so I can see how this moves, which how gorgeous is that for a photo shoot? I might still use this for a photo shoot, even if it doesn't end up being my dress. Um, but also one other notable thing about this dress that my sister told me that I can't get out of my head now is that in an A-line dress with all this tool, like five layers of skirt, um, I think a, a good mark of a good design or a high quality design is how it lays in the front versus how it lays in the back. 
And typically what you would want is for the front to be kind of like one straight line, very graceful, clean lines essentially. But this one, once the skirt starts, you really see all five layers just poof out. <laughs> and um, it makes me look like I am at the end of my first trimester, which I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I think that I would prefer like this shape of dress to go to have clean lines. So my preference of having that clean straight line is really just my preference. Uh, I know there are some of some people who want the thing like the tightness on top and then just like boom like <laughs> boom in all directions and um, that's still not my personal style. However, I will say that this dress because the natural waist is just like like or the waist of this dress is like one centimeter above my natural waist. It is very roomy. It has a lot of room. I think it'll be very forgiving for all like many different kinds of body types. And um, well, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think that's fine. <laughs> Here's dress number three. And as you can tell, it's not, <laughs> it's not um, like obviously full length. This is something that I ordered thinking of maybe I could wear it to rehearsal dinner the night before a bachelorette party if I end up having one. Odds are now that I'm leaning towards not having one. And this dress only cost $34. I got it in a size eight and I didn't custom size this one. And within size eight, the dimensions are bust 35 and a half, waist 28 and a half. And I don't know about the rest of it because it doesn't matter. But the thing about this is just with my body dimensions, compared to the average woman, I suppose. I don't fill out this cup nearly as much as it was built for somebody else to do. And so that's the main thing about the fit. Again, I'm not really concerned about this fitting perfectly or anything because it's just kind of a casual, like surrounding the event, event dress. Now, this drives me crazy. <laughs> I don't like this split front of the pleating. Um, and I just picked from like what was on sale. So I didn't have a lot of very, very that specific options. But I was thinking if I use this, I could take this to a tailor and there's plenty of space in the ruffles to actually just have them make a seam or connect these seams all the way down. And then I think then it will be totally gorgeous and very wearable and I would totally be, I think totally a lot. I would be very much open to wearing this dress to any surrounding wedding event. Now my favorite thing about this dress is the back. It's gorgeous. The lace is actually very good, detailed, high quality lace, both in the front and the back. One thing about like ordering the size, just the pre-made sizes versus custom size, this waist is 28 and a half by the size eight, but my custom dresses I had ordered to 29 and a half, and this 28 and a half actually still has some room for me. Um, so I don't know if in their pre-made sizes, if they leave a little bit of space just for like the average person to have a little bit more room um, because this kind of fits how my custom dresses fit, but I had told them that I have an extra inch in the custom ones. So I really do think the custom ones are made like to the measurements you tell them, whereas these have a little bit more flex. And that's my third dress. So all in all, final thoughts, you all already know which one's my favorite. The first was my favorite, second was my second favorite, and this is just kind of like, it doesn't really compare to the first two dresses. It's not the same kind of dress. Um, I like the first one because it's very like clean lines, very simple, very timeless. I think looking back on a dress like that after 30 years, I was still like, I would not be embarrassed about that. The second dress is very, kind of themed, floral, leafy, viney, naturey, which actually fits my garden uh, venue very well. Uh, but the execution of it was a little bit lower than how I expected it to come. But I do think that dress has a lot of potential, especially if I maybe snip off some of the very like paper crafty looking flower appliques. I'm still considering it though because the appliques have like beading and sequins on them, which in an outdoor venue, <laughs> my dog is like gaggy in the background, if you can hear that. I am still considering whether or not I want to do that because all of the floor appliques have the beading and sequins on top of them, which I would have to cut off if I wanted to take out those. But in like an outdoor venue, in the sunlight, the 
the little shine of that, I think could photograph very well. So a little bit undecided on that. And the third dress is like a smaller event dress. And I'm not crazy about the split and the pleating, but I can easily get that fixed. All in all, just in terms of like the website in general, I'm very, very impressed. And I'm not sponsored in this video to say that. I told them that they should have no expectations for what I say about these dresses before they send it to me. But I am, I am impressed. But I do think that it could be a little bit hit or miss. So what's helpful for me and what was helpful for me when I was picking these out was to look at the reviews of people who like actually bought that dress and wore it in the event and photographed in it. Because I think the photographs of reviews are way more reliable than the photographs of the brands that goes for dresses, that goes for any kind of clothes, any kind of makeup, so on and so forth. And watching videos like this was also immensely helpful to see how the product would look on like a human body and not in like a photo doctored marketing photograph. I had mentioned this like briefly in the middle of trying on these dresses, but because I think that none of these are it, I didn't cry or anything or have that like, wow, well, like bride feeling, which I don't know how feasible that is. Did you have a feeling? My sister's behind the camera. Did you have a bridal feeling? Like this is the dress? Yeah. Yes, but I also have a very different body type than you. You can tell them my body type. My body type, let me say before that, I consider to be straight slash maybe a little hourglass, but that's just my perception of my body. I think that a lot of people might consider me to be a little bit more curvy <laughs> because I have like quite the thighs, but maybe the reason why I think my body shape is like that is because my sister's body shape really is like, va -va -boo. like whoa, I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> my sister's body type is really curvy and so that's what I like always imagined or knew an hourglass shape to look like um and so maybe that's why I think I'm a little bit more of a ruler <laughs> so my sister told me that she had that like wow this is my dress I'm getting married moment so I didn't feel that for any of these I could intellectually reason myself into why this may or may not work at my event but maybe i am looking for that kind of moment and so there is another dress from jj's house that i'm very interested in very interested in and my mom and my sister both love that love that dress too so i may even use my own code to buy that and my code is sally by the way for 10 percent off those are all of my dresses for today i may have a fourth one, so updates to follow. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I will probably post a lot more wedding photo updates there. Like this video if you liked it because I like it when you like my videos and it also lets me know that you um, enjoy this kind of content. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I make a ton of beauty content and I'm just starting to mix in this wedding stuff. And if you don't have your notification bell on, hit the notification bell because just subscribing isn't enough anymore. From proposal to actual wedding event, now that I've kind of locked in a venue and a date, it's five months, so it's all kind of a whirlwind. <laughs> if I do end up ordering that dress and it ends up being my wedding dress, you'll see it in an actual wedding video. So yeah, see you at the end of February. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know in the comments what you think about these dresses. Maybe I'm being a little bit too critical about them, but let me know if you think like, wow, like Sally, that's the one, you know? Otherwise, uh, I just wanted to remind you before you go that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> This is their love child. <laughs> no, this is my niece. <laughs>